Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my video, which today is about wedding dresses. Behind me is my studio, because by day I'm a stained glass artist. However, I have a, a side hustle, which is <laughs> pimping wedding dresses. So this video, in a change to my normal format, is about how I adapted my daughter's wedding dress. So obviously with a wedding, you dip, dig deep, don't you, for the perfect wedding, including the dress, um, but you actually do need very deep pockets. Little did we know that we would need to take out a second mortgage. And that's where we started to think outside the box, which is what this video is going to be all about. How to make your dream dress from a cheap dress you got on eBay and make it look like a million dollars. Well, well, that's what we think we achieved. Why don't you have a look for yourself and see what you think? If you watch till the end, or even just fast forward to the end, you'll see my beautiful daughter looking spectacular and happy and graceful and wonderful on her wedding day. Elsie put together a Pinterest board, and as you can see, they're basically all floral and not white. Um, so straight away, we knew that she wasn't gonna be going for something conventional which narrows down your options. Um, we went and looked at some prom dresses. Hmm, they were okay, but I thought we could do better than that. And I hope that in this video, you can see our kind of working progress of how we started with basically nothing and worked up to making her her dream dress. And I'd say that with all the experimenting and things we bought, we didn't spend 300 pounds on this dress. We probably spent somewhere between two and 300 pounds. Only 30 pounds on the actual dress, but quite a lot of money on ribbons because we made near on 2,000 um, roses out of ribbon. Um, and then we bought 50 meters of gold organza, uh, which wasn't very expensive actually, it was about two pounds a meter. Um, and then lots of other things along the way because when we started we didn't really know which way it was going to go we just bought a lot of things to experiment with um, but I hope you can see that this is something you can do at home with not that much sewing skills necessary YouTube was very helpful and I hope this will be helpful um, so enjoy the video Enjoy the shots of Elsie looking glamorous and wonderful and thank you for watching and I hope it gives you lots of ideas. Hello viewers, I'm Sophie and I'm Elsie and we are here today to introduce you to our video which we're going to call something like our big fat wedding dress hack because the plan is to take a cheap wedding dress and turn it into Elsie's dream dress. Okay, now the reason we're gonna do this is because we went looking for wedding dresses the other day and there is nothing that is exactly what Elsie wants that we can afford. So the other problem is the things we've seen that have inspired Elsie um, all come from wedding dress shops in America. Well, that's too much of a risk, isn't it? Our plan, our cunning plan, is to take a cheap dress and turn it into something beautiful. Well, how are you going to do that? I hear you ask. And it is by practicing on an even cheaper cheap dress, which I have here, which I should let Elsie open, actually. And I will just describe this dress. I saw it on eBay, 17 pounds, including postage. And it's more or less the colour, base colour that Elsie's after, and it's more or less the shape. And it's a pair of slippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I suppose that's the trouble with unboxing videos. <laughs> so, <laughs> Elsie's big day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elsie, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. I'll give you another call when the dress arrives. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Here we are again. Take two. 
Percy, would you like to open these lovely packages? Um, okay, why don't you start with the one I peeked in, just to check it wasn't in the press list. <laughs> When I say wedding dress, it's wedding dress. This one was from Amazon for £20, including delivery. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's, it's not pants, it's a boot tube. Like, my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't expect that, viewers, did we? <laughs> Okay, it, this, this is some sort of clever every which way dress. Obviously it's going to take us proper take a while to put yeah, on. Yeah, it's going to take a while to put on. So, off you go Elsie. But I think for a basic colour and shape, it's not bad. Alright, excellent. So um, maybe we should start pinning a bit of tulle on and, and see what we can do with it. Yep. Right, let's start pinning this to you. Gold. See that will give you a dress that's more, that's stiffer. I think that's really nice. Yeah. I think I even prefer that to this super expensive soft stuff. Yeah, I agree. That's amazing. <laughs> Where did we buy it? I wonder what it looks like not on a white background because actually if you put this over a white dress um, it'll look one way exactly mm. you know what maybe I prefer it on the white background because it sort of lifts it, it sh yeah it shows up it shine. all the, the shinies and the crinkles well that's interesting isn't it because even though this is only subtle oh, colour yeah. so you've got that at the top and this at the bottom yeah it, it's, it's so much so nicer on the white actually maybe we're looking for a white dress then yeah maybe we are yeah yeah this okay. is good and and the other thing is if especially if you end up having two layers mm -hmm. on the white it's really the white mm -hmm. is working for you there, whereas mm -hmm. that base colour isn't. It kind of yeah, it definitely yeah. Lifts it. Oh, wow! So we've actually cool. this whole thing mm -hmm. has been really worthwhile. Yeah, because we're going to find a white dress. Yeah, which is going to be much easier. Hello, Elsie. Hello. So today we're opening a box for you all. If you go, Elsie. I'm not sure what's inside this one. Well, we know because it says. Oh, Polly, on the front. And I didn't buy any slippers from Oh, Polly. <laughs> Sorry, Elsie's left-handed, so she's extremely challenged when it comes to using scissors. Oh, yeah. Shall I open it? Because we have to return it. Mm. They might say, why did they use a knife and fork to open it? <laughs> oh, wait. Was that where we were supposed to? Oh, maybe that was where we were supposed to. We did it wrong. Okay, off we go. Wow. Mm, pink perfection. Oh, oh. Lovely ladies. Lovely ladies. Oh, okay, did you order it in two sizes? I ordered sizes? it in two sizes. Because we have discovered in the world that is wedding, sizes are all different. They're all changed. Nothing is as it was. It's rather short in the waist. Mmm, it is. Do you want to try it on? Yes. Oops. Very long. I want to try it like if this, if we sewed this mm. across it. So we would obviously have to sort of sew it in. Mm. Um, how's that looking? Can yeah, you see yourself? I like it. Um, or we could just follow the lines and just do it in panels. All oh, right. Um, but then, wait, wait, do it from the bottom. Wait. Um, And then, like that, we pin it down there, and then we do another one across there. Yeah, I like that. That's quite That's nice. That's a good idea. If, but this, and yeah. then, 
down here as well, will the colours then look too different? Cause no, I don't think they will look different at all. But this this would definitely work if we if we did that. I'm going to get some flowers. Oh, we get some flowers. Oh, that looks so nice. I've got to, got take, to take a picture. Got to take a picture. Oh, gold leaf, gold leaf. Oh no, oh no. Got too excited. Because then once we've decided this, then I can start deciding how to theme the place. Well, I have it's already very decided. antique, isn't it? It's so pretty. Right, I need a camera to take a picture. And I definitely you. want a puffier skirt. Oh yeah, definitely oh, a puffier that's skirt. Obvious. And it actually looks nice all ruched around. Mm -hmm. I think that would be good because it's otherwise we'd have to make stuff look a bit too too, neat too tailored. Too, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> a bit too proper. <laughs> Shabby chic, as you like to say. Yeah, that's so nice. Mm. Right, so we have a plan now. Hello again. Uh, this must be episode three. And um, after last uh, time, we decided that Elsie was going to go for a white dress with this gold tool overlaid. And then we wanted to explore what it was going to be like making our own flowers. So that's what we've been doing today. We've not concentrated too much on what the palette's going to be, just whether or not we could make successful flowers. And I think we can. Whoa! <laughs> How lovely are these? I'd say the most successful ones are the ones which create more shadows, which would be these. Because although these tool ones look so pretty close up, from a distance, they're just a blur. And we've got these very nice little roses going on which are made out of ribbons oh sorry about my fingers i make stained glass windows for a living so my hands are often disgusting which obviously in a wedding dress video you don't want to see but never mind so we also bought um some fabric from which we cut these and these uh we bought some some pearls and some leaves um just to just to explore all the different things we could use um, but I think basically we're really happy with the way it's gone today. So this is definitely what we're going to do for Elsie's dress. Um, white dress, gold tool, embellished with beautiful flowers. It's been a really worthwhile um, afternoon and uh, we've had a lot of fun. And what you don't know is that Sister of the Bride is filming us and mm. she's been helping us today as well. So yeah, lots of um, lots of bonding over fabric flowers. Uh, so um, yes, we will check back in with you next time after we've been back to Shepherd's Bush Market to buy more pretty things. So this is the dress that came today, um, and it just looks so fabulous on Elsie. And I have to tell you that we got this for thirty pounds on eBay. Yes, people, £30. You know, best bargain on the site that's ever been found. <laughs> and um, it, the, the bodice fits Elsie like a glove. Because we weren't even buying it for the bodice. We were buying it for the skirt, thinking we would use it with the bodice we'd bought elsewhere. But now we're thinking we'll pick off the embellishments on the bodice because we don't want all the fuss, because we're going to put our own fuss on. And um, there it is. The skirt needs a bit of adjusting, but we, as you all know, we want to be adding the gold layer to the top anyway. So when we add the gold layer to the top, we're going to bring the waistband down, which will shorten the skirt, which we need, and it will also widen the waistband, because the waistband is ridiculously small. No real woman could be that small. So, um... Yeah, we couldn't be more pleased, wouldn't you say, Bride? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely what we were looking for. Yeah, and we're also going to alter the neckline here to give it the neckline Elsie is looking for. So, um, yeah, I'd say that's the result. Wow. Elsie, you look amazing. So, this is the top, uh, the bodice, and we put a V in it. And we picked off the embellishments and we left on the rhinestones for a bit of sparkle. Have a little twirl in the skirt. 
<laughs> which is just glorious. It's got the most amazing train. Yeah. It really does. Long, isn't it? Yeah. I just think it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Beautiful, Elsie. Just show them my shoes. Oh, yes. Little peepo of the shoes. Where are the feet? <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> You've got to click your heels together like... Oh, I don't know if oh, I can okay. move maybe, that maybe that's too much. <laughs> yeah, some advanced training needed. Uh, so, we need to do new straps for the bodice and we are going to attempt now to drape the bodice in um, the gold chiffon or organ organza I think it actually is okay turn around okay so here we are the bodice has had its organza um, cover ring and I think you'll agree how beautiful it looks um, and we haven't even put all the flowers on yet so it's just getting more and more beautiful. And you can see here is the white skirt. Now, if you just lift up the bodice a bit at the front, yeah, you can see, oh, bit more, bit more, that there's a belt underneath holding up the skirt, which <laughs> is so much <laughs> too long for Elsie that it's popping up here. So my next job is to shorten this skirt. And while I shorten it, I'm going to be putting on all this lovely organza, which I have um, gathered up today. And we are going to probably just play around with a bit now. Um, so the idea will be I'll put a new waistband onto this skirt, lower down. And while I do it, I'll put this organza on. But we do have to work out how much of this organza we want to keep, because there's about 25 metres. And she may feel that's too much like a pom-pom. <laughs> so um, we will uh, try it for size and, and, and see what looks nice. So that's it at full ruche. Do we feel that's a little large? I think we do, don't we? Now what do we think? Mm, Still a bit big? I think so. Okay. So we've worked out that we only need half the fabric. Um, uh, and that's proof enough so I will get on and see what kind of sewing magic I can come up with um, to overlay this dress with this beautiful gold organza here she is looking beautiful so that is the dress pretty much finished you can see a cheeky bit of purple belt sticking out at the back. That's just because I'm going to leave it till the last minute to um, to do the waistband so that we get it comfortable on the day. But basically, it's been hemmed to the right length. It's been covered in gold organza. And today we play with flowers, don't we, Elsie? Yes. <laughs> We need your opinion, Nigel. Don't be scared. So, we've got two colour palettes. Mm. Restrained yeah. and bonkers. Um, I like restrained, actually. The autumnal, what I call seems quite busy. The restrained, That's what I said, isn't the it? pink, uh, kind of blends in with the uh, organza. Yeah. Um, so it adds texture, but not necessarily colour. And tone. Actually, on that side, the t all the tone is darker than the rest of the dress. Whereas on that side, the pinkish colour is the same tone as the dress, so it doesn't um, stand out. I love, I mean, I love the dark tones here and there. Mm. You could almost make a kind of line leading up or leading down through dark tones. Mm. Yeah. So here we have Elsie the Bride. Tweety the bridesmaid, and more importantly, the enormous number of flowers that we have been busily making. 
and we are going to have a session today. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know. When we uh, pin them to the dress. I was going to say to complete the transformation, but actually completing the transformation will be the will be the weeks and weeks of actually sewing them onto the dress. This is mad. <laughs> So that's basically Elsie in a box. There it is, <laughs> Elsie's wedding in a box. <laughs> so, here we go. Say hi, Elsie. Hi, Elsie. <laughs> busy, busy girl, busy bride. We have, well, let's see, what time is it now? It's probably about half past two. We've been doing this since nine o'clock this morning. And we have decided, although we did make a start on the bodice, to focus on the skirt and come back to the bodice. But I think we're winning. And <laughs> it looks amazing. Yay! Smile! I'm sewing the flowers on. I've been doing this for days. Uh, There's about a thousand to sew on. This is the thread I'm using. It's um, nylon transparent invisible thread. I've um, double um, double threaded, tied it at the end because if you sew like normal, it just keeps popping out at the end of the needle. So, oh, catches on everything. <laughs> it's really annoying. Right, so I'll show you how I'm doing it. Um, although it's it's fairly intuitive, really. Let's see. Yes. So. Just in and out, all around the edge of, oh, <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. You can't see it as you sew, it's really annoying. So sometimes you, without noticing, you actually get yourself caught up in it. And it does also hook around the flowers and the pins. Um, this is why I basically don't like sewing, which some of you may find slightly uh, confusing as to why I offer to make a wedding dress for my daughter. It's because I like a challenge and because I love her and because she's going to look so beautiful. So anyway, um, <laughs> You clearly don't want to see hours and hours and hours of this. Um, so we're going to do a bit of this and then we're going to cut to the finished product. So here Elsie is. Do you want to give us a little turn, Elsie? So we think it looks amazing and beautiful. We're very pleased with the bodice. We love the way the ruching accentuates Elsie's waist. We love the V at the front. And Elsie has decided to wear her straps on her arms thus. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we think it's done. Now, Elsie has got this rather fetching bouquet, which is what the bridesmaids are going to be holding. And uh, I just wanted to check, and I think it's it goes very nicely with the dress. It's got a few extra embellishments, and I will put a link down to a video of how I made this, uh, in case anyone is interested. Um, but yes, very nice. Elsie's gonna have real flowers, and they're going to be spectacular. Well done, Elsie. Good job well looking. Well done, you. <laughs> yes, but good job looking so beautiful. It's nothing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Here we are I'm going I'm going on the wedding day with Elsie in her beautiful dress. Elsie gives us a twirl. That's it. Doesn't she look amazing? So I think we can say we're pleased, aren't we? Are we pleased? Oh, yeah. Very pleased with the results. So I hope you've enjoyed our journey. And it might inspire you to um, go out there and pin your own dress. Thank you.